everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of Ark Survival Evolved. I do hope you guys are having a fantastic day. We're back here on the island and guys, it's the 22nd episode, eh? That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, so guys, check this out. Tech Rex fertilized eggs. That can only mean one thing. I have another Tech Rex. Level 269. So we managed to find ourselves a couple more max rank tech rexes. Now, for those of you guys interested, I actually live streamed me going ahead and finding and taming these two. So we've got T800, who is another female, uh, who we found first. And then we've got T Wrecked here. I love that name. And this is the male. But uh, yeah, these guys, these fellas look really awesome. Look, we've got like silver and blue. And then this guy is probably the coolest looking one, in my opinion. Like, we've got green, silver, and black. Like, that is really freaking cool. So, yeah, guys, like I say, uh, I live-streamed it, so go ahead, check out the link on screen right now. You'll be taken over to the Python Live channel, where all of my live streams go down. Do consider subscribing over there, because I do all sorts of streams. I do Ark streams, Minecraft streams, Call of Duty streams eventually, and other stuff as well when I feel like it. Maybe Terraria here and there. I don't know, man. I don't know. Depends what I'm feeling. Well, depends what needs to be done. So... Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. It's a good time because check this out. We got ourselves some Tech Rex eggs. Oh, yeah. So, guys, let's go ahead and check out the base stats of all of these fellas, okay? So, we got Tanya here who has 10k health, 1.7k stamina, 880 weight, 775 melee, which is pretty good. Let's go over to T800 here. 8.8k health, so better. Uh, oh, wait, not better than uh, Tanya. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's right. I ranked her up a whole bunch, but uh, we still put down the health. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So, health so far is 10k. Uh, 2k stamina, I think, is better. Yep, okay. So, this gal has got the stamina 860 weight. Uh, 880 weight. So, you've actually got slightly more weight. And then 690 melee, which isn't that great. Okay, let's check out the mail. 9.9k health. Basically the same as Tanya over there. 1.9k stamina. Okay, so that's not quite good. We've got 770 weight. That's not too good. And the melee is also not too good. So, what we're looking for in our perfect breeding pair of tech rexes. Okay, we are looking for 10k health, 2k stamina... 880 weight, and then 775 melee. Okay, that's what we're looking for. All right, guys. Also, check this out. We've got ourselves a Journeyman Baryonyx Saddle Blueprint, which is very, very cool. Do we have any other Baryonyx? Okay, so this is the only Baryonyx uh, Saddle Blueprint that we've got going on, which is pretty cool. I mean, the armor rating I don't think is as high as the one that we've got on Super Bob, but it's nice to have this, okay? It's just nice to have ourselves a blueprint for a dino that we regularly loot, uh, use. Sorry, lose? <laughs> no, we, we've only lost one Barry so far, I think. Well, you know, I think I killed a few, didn't I, as well? All right, well, anyways, guys, heading into here. Let's just gamma up real quick. And is this good enough? Egg health incubation. There we go. Okay, so it's going to take about 15 seconds to do this thing. Oh, man. This is despite having 100 times egg hatch speed, guys. That's kind of nuts. All right, so we're looking for, obviously, level 269, and then we're looking for the max stats, I guess. So let's see what we get on our first go. Level 269, of course. I mean, we have to imprint. Oh, my gosh. Okay, uh, 8.8. .8. Okay, so the stamina is there. Melee is not, nor is the weight. Okay, right. In which case, I need to... Oh, God, we need to do this before he gets too big. Oh, goodness me. Okay, do this, do this. Ah, ah, there we go. Ah, die. Die, potato. There we go. Sorry. At this point, guys, we are literally going to go for every single loot beam we can find, okay? Because what we are looking for is an Ascendant Rex Saddle Blueprint, okay? Now, I guess the red ones are probably the ones to go for if we're going to try and go for that. But, uh, yeah. We could always get some other blueprints or other things that we might need. For example, a better shotgun blueprint or a better pickaxe and axe and sickle. All that kind of stuff I think is worth going for. So, let's pop over here. We're going for this purple beacon, which I think is one tier above blue. Okay, uh, what have we got? Uh, oh, ascended ghillie boots. And then we've also got a grenade. Whoa, look how nicely lit up the uh, omnidirectional lampposts make things. 
I feel like we should distribute a whole bunch of lamps all over the place and just have this place, like, permanently lit up. Oh, dude, that's so cool. All right. Oh, my gosh. A whole bunch more eggs. Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, let's just go check out the blueprints real quick. Let me just confirm to myself. Uh, yeah, there it is. 300 polymer is required, but 276 armor value compared to 32, man. Holy God. There we go. Nice and easy to remember. Now, when we went ahead and, uh, you know, wrote down Tanya's sign, did I round up the 9.9k up to 10k? Because I feel like that's the sort of thing I do. I mean, these two numbers for the health are way too close together. So I would almost say that... 10k, 9.9k, they're basically basically the same thing. Uh, what the? Okay, you do you. And then there's a whole bunch more eggs. Oh my gosh. We've got so many of the darn things. <laughs> oh man. You know what, guys? This is all reminding me, though. Uh, we really need to make a decent one of these hatcheries, okay? We just need to. We really, really do. So, here we go, guys. Like I say, 10k health, 2k stamina, 880 weight, and then 775 melee. If we manage to get twins like we got lucky before with the Baryonyxes, that would be absolutely beautiful. But let's see what we get for our second one here. Ooh, what you got? 264? What? How does that make sense? That makes literally no sense. Oh, right, I'm just going to immediately kill it. I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand why I did that. 276? But that's even higher. Huh? I'm really confused. Okay, so basically 10k health, just under 2k stamina. It's not got... It's just shy of the stamina weight and melee, to be honest with you. I really don't understand why these Rexes are coming out 272. I mean, clearly there's something amiss. Alright, so stamina's not there. Melee is! So is the weight. Oh, that's the closest we've had yet! It's the stamina, man. Oh, I'm kind of sad about that. The stamina would have been the icing on the cake, guys. It really would have been. Goodbye! I just realized, if we get twins or triplets, they are barely going to fit inside this place, man. It's going to get a little bit insane. All right. 272. 10k health. Okay, so that actually is 10k. Just shy of 2k there. But it doesn't have the weight or melee damage, man. Uh, it would have been a tank in terms of the health, but everything else is a bit of a letdown. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, we've got twins. Let's check out one of their stats. Uh, 1900. Nope, not there, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to kill you both because I'm pretty sure the twins and triplets have identical... I can't even... Oh, God. Oh, what have I done? I can't... Ah! Ah! Hey, 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 hey. Son of a gun. Oh, no. I'm going to have to, like, drop everything you've got there, buddy. Uh, Marlon, chase! Give chase! You are not supposed to live! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! You need to die! My goodness, you guys have been going at it like mad women! Or men, or whatever. Holy lord. Okay, well, yep, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a whole bunch of eggs. How many do we even get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so we're looking pretty good, huh? I put down five more storage chests here because, uh, yeah, my storage situation is starting to get a little bit dire, to tell you the truth. Uh, right, so we don't need anything there. I've rotated Marlon, uh, so yeah, we should be able to access uh, him at all times. I mean, to be honest, I'll probably... What? I'll probably just dispense the eggs from the back of him. And then go from there. Oh, it's so weird. My guy's not wearing any pants. This is a scandal. Oh, man. Guys, have you ever actually looked at the tech eggs? Uh, this is cool, man. I'd love to have this in my office as like a memento. Oh, it would look so cool on my desk, dude. I mean, obviously, probably not that big. But uh, yeah, level 268. What stataroos do you have? 10k health. Uh, but no melee and not enough stamina for my liking. Oh my god! What the hell am I supposed to do here? There's way too bleeding many of you guys! Oh my gosh! 8.8k health. Oh, it's already not looking good for them. I'm sorry there. 279 is pretty damn... I can't even get out. Oh my gosh. Right. What? What? Hey! Kill them all! 
294. How? I honestly don't know how this is happening. Okay, 9.9k. Ooh. Not bad, man. Not bad. Can I... Like, there's literally no way. Okay, I'll imprint you as well. Is it a male and a female? No, it's two males. Damn it, man. Do you know what, guys? Sod it. We're going to go ahead and do the expanded hatchery today as well. How does that sound? I'm thinking we do it out of pillars and ceilings and then maybe have, like, triangle corners. I feel like that's a cool idea. Uh, can we maybe get a triangle ceiling? Is that a thing? Triangle ceiling, triangle ceiling, triangle ceiling. Yep, there it is. Metal triangle roof as well. Yep, why not? Might as well. Okay, so, uh, metal. There we go. Okay, so where is it? So that's the metal triangle roof. I want the metal triangle ceiling. So four of those, and then God knows how many of these. I've got absolutely no idea. All right, guys, I think as long as we're able to get underneath this thing, we should be able to put campfires underneath, and it should, in theory, be enough. Okay, right, so like I say, I'm gonna do like a big big thing here So it'll be like this and then outwards and then this will be uh, Another pillar ideally going into the ground there. Okay, and then this will continue to go out here uh, A whole bunch more. I'm thinking five pillars or five like main pillars should be enough to get this thing going at least I hope it will, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're slowly but surely getting there. Oh, it's going to protrude into the ground slightly. But I don't think that's really much of an issue. Uh, so here we go. And one more. There we go. Look at this, guys. We've got ourselves a nice big space to do this thing. Okay, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, what do we want to do? I mean, do we want to just put down some railings and then, like I say, put down some campfires underneath? Alright guys, so the platformer's in. I've just made myself a behemoth uh, dinosaur gateway, which I'm hoping I will- Oh my gosh. This is smacking huge! Mother of god, okay. How the hell are we gonna do this? If I use the uh, orbital camera, I might be able to get a slightly better idea as to where I'm putting it. So maybe let's move over to the side a little. No, maybe back over this way. Holy mama! Wait, what did I just do? Oh my god! Uh, 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 whistle stop all! Whistle stop all! Oh my goodness me, what the crap? I accidentally pressed a button! Jesus! Can you, like, not? Whoa! That thing is freaking huge! Alright guys, so we're needing to do another metal trip, so we're taking Andy over here. Now according to you guys, apparently if you go near a metal rock while the Anki is being carried by an RG, apparently he will automatically go ahead and mine it. Alright Anki, will you do this thing? Okay, you're near a metal rock. Uh... I wonder if it needs to be on wonder mode or something. Like, if I turn it to wonder... Uh, enable following, yeah, options, uh, harvest settings, nope, that's all fine. Okay, let's just, let's try the wandering. Ah, interestingly, it doesn't seem to be working. Is that like a mod or something? I can only assume it's a mod or I'm doing something wrong. If I'm doing something wrong, then do, of course, let me know. All right, guys. So I guess before doing anything else, we should try and figure out the heat situation, okay? So I've got to... Oh, my gosh. Okay, so does it have to... Okay, so it has to go on a platform. Okay, interesting. What if I was to go ahead and put one of these on, like, either side? Like, would that be a good idea? And then, of course, we'd need to, like, fuel it, I guess. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know if this is going to do the job, but I'm kind of hoping that it will, because that would be amazing. Surprisingly, these fireplaces don't actually seem to give off that much light. All right, let's put this down here. Uh, too cold. Damn it, man. Okay, what if I put it in the middle of the two? Uh, no, still too cold. Hmm. Do we need, like, a roof on this place? Hmm. Alright, six campfires all filled to the absolute freaking brim. Okay, is this going to be enough? I mean, yeah, okay, so the smoke is definitely coming through. Uh, so it's between this pillar and this pillar, and then there's another pillar under here, which of course is where this thing started. Right, let's have a look. 
Uh, okay, so that's going. All right, and that's going. Hey, I think we're on to a winner here, guys. Right, real quick. Ugh, I don't actually want them to birth. What I actually want <laughs> is to go ahead and put some railings up. Well, actually, maybe not railings because I think they'll just be able to climb over them. But uh, maybe some walls around the outset here. All right, well, the limiting factor at this point, ladies and gentlemen, is cementing paste. So you guys know what that means. We need to go bug hunting with our BLZ buffo. Now, of course, we could just go ahead and go and, I don't know, find ourselves some beaver dams. But uh, the nearest ones still seem to be pretty far away. Now, thankfully, I usually get bugs spawn around here. Oh, yeah, buggy country. Go on, you're all going to die. Ah, give me. Oh, hey there, buddy. Well, I might as well kill you. Oh, goodness me. Alright, there's like multiple of you. Oh, there's three of you. Four of you. Okay. I, uh, yeah, I was definitely intending on taking down a bunch of dillos today. Um, we need to get these guys out of the game real quick. hey -ya! Yeah! <laughs> and there we go, ladies and gentlemen. As far as I know, we're just about there. The only thing we need to bear in mind is with this thing open... It doesn't actually leave a great deal of space. Hmm. And also there's trees in here. I'm not, I don't even know if the resource nodes will like respawn if I go ahead and get rid of these. I mean, I'm kind of tempted to try it. So let's just rid these trees. Because as far as, I, I don't know, I feel like I remember uh, them not respawning if there is some sort of structure through it, right? Oh, okay. So the trees can respawn in here. Uh, that's a bit weird, I have to admit. But, uh, oh well. Guess that's just something we have to deal with. So, these fireplaces? I don't think we actually need them. So, I'm just going to rid them. Oh my god, that's a lot of resources. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to get rid of it all. I don't really care. There we go. All I want to do now is get some eggies. That's right. We're finally doing this thing, guys. My goodness. It's been such a long time just trying to get the resources to get this uh, uh, hatchery going. And now that we finally have, I think we're ready, guys. Let's actually do this. Let's do our first load here. Uh, oh, and we've got a little bit too much there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at that. So many freaking eggs. I'm hoping that I'll just be able to spam them on the floor. And then bada bing, bada boom, be good to go. So, let's do it. spam a -roo! All right, there we go. And now we wait. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Oh, God. This is... <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, some of them have already hatched. Oh, goodness me. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's the mass hatching. The mass hatching is about to commence. Oh my god. <laughs> There's so many of them. 253. 280. What's going on with these ones? Too hot. Well, that's interesting. Some of them are too hot, apparently. All right, what if we do it over here? Too cold? No, that's incubating. Okay. Mother of mercy. What the hell do I even do here? Okay. 282, simply because you're a high rank. Uh, there's another 282 back here. Kind of tempted to imprint you. Uh, 280, just as a just-in-case kind of procedure. Okay. Anything else? 285! Holy hell. All right. Anything else high level? 268, 270... Not really that interesting. 279, 269. All right. All right, Marlon. Your time has come. Destroy all the things. <laughs> oh, you're all dead. Or you're all going to die. Um, I don't think I can move. Oh, yeah. My weight is like completely messed up. All right. Boop, do that. And can we get out of it? Yeah, there we can. Oh my god, the noise. The freaking noise, bro. This is insane. What the hell? <laughs> you need to die. Sorry. All right, you're okay. Jesus Christ, this is so insane. <laughs> this is so dumb. Okay, you're done. Uh, you need to die. There we go. All right, who else? There's one in the corner over here. <laughs> So stupid. Oh god. Okay, whistle stop all. There we go. Right. Can I like whistle stop? Uh wait. Disable wandering. Oh my gosh. This is so stupid, dude. Alright, disable wandering. 
Alright ladies and gentlemen, here we are. I've actually expanded the room and I've heightened the walls. Oh my gosh, this has been a long ass recording. Alright, let's do this thing. Uh, maybe we just do like a few at a time here. Too cold, too cold, too cold. Damn it. So do they still have to be here in order to uh, be hatched? Uh, incubation, incubation, too cold, too cold. Oh, wait, wait, wait. One of them is hatching. Uh-huh. I think that's because that was, like, directly above the campfire. Hmm. I think I may actually need to put, like, a, a roof on this thing. But that's going to require a simply stupid amount of resources. Hey, look. Okay, cool. What do you got? 10k, nearly 2k. Okay, you're both not good enough. Well, guys, we have our one final level up to our pre-ascension maximum currently of 105. Now, I'm pretty sure as soon as we start ranking up our chibi, we should be able to start getting more ranks, which I think will be pretty cool. Right, I'm going to go and do fortitude again here. And yeah, we've basically got ourselves a whole bunch of engram points now, which is absolutely fantastic. So at, the partic at this particular moment, guys, I'm going ahead and uh, hatching two at a time just so I can keep track of things and then uh, you know if they're not a good level then i automatically kill them if they're a high level i go ahead and check them out and uh, see what is going down in tech rex town oh yeah all right so give me just a second here what have we got 279 281 okay what stats have we got not good enough all right what about you not good enough damn it <laughs> oh it really is like gambling isn't it uh, you're gambling your time to try and get yourself the most amazing tech rex army you've ever seen And honestly, I know that this is going to be worth it. I just have to keep telling myself that really dead There we go. All right So yeah, I've been going ahead and uh, periodically checking in on my moss tops here and taking out all of the stuff Boop, Doing that dropping it like it's hot We're gonna go ahead and put down all of the stuff in here and all of the metal goes in this chest There we go So I mean to be honest with you guys I think what I'm gonna do is actually end the episode here because uh, you know off camera I'm probably just gonna go ahead and do a whole bunch of breeding to be honest with you I might even stream me trying to get a, uh, a, a perfect tech rex So let me know if you guys would be uh, excited for that in the form of a like rating or a comment or whatever Do be sure to head on over to Python live of course and subscribe so you don't miss out on said arc stream and uh, yeah for now though my friends it is time to wrap up today's episode guys thank you very much for watching if you have enjoyed today's episode please do be sure to drop a like rating hit the subscribe button don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on future arc content but for now thank you so much for watching do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next episode